Not yet. <laughs> I'm about to send it in. Ooh. In progress. In progress. Yes, I'd love to see it. What did you do, Christine? I didn't do anything. Lack but my, thereof. But my dog ran his first 5K. So oh, there you go. that's awesome. <laughs> Good for him. I've been trying to get back to running, but this heat, not very fun uh -uh. out there for a lot of folks. It's an early morning run or after dark lately. We've got the showers and thunderstorms, and you've got 70s out there. And yeah, looking at that impact for us tomorrow, not only will it be the heat, but also an isolated storm or two that could trigger some severe weather for us. So yeah, we were in the 100s. It feels like temperatures today. Did you see that over the last six hours? Yeah, some 90s and near triple digits out through High Point and Greensboro. Highs today, though, only hit 86 degrees in Greensboro, 88 in Burlington, 86 in Winston-Salem, typically right about 88 degrees. So we hit it pretty closely out there today. Now rain and storm timeline for you as we go through the day tomorrow. It looks very spotty, even for Thursday. Similar forecast. One or two storms, if we can get them going, they could become severe and some heavy rain may drop out of them too, similar to what we've been experiencing over the last week or so. Now, Friday is still hot and humid. Feels like 100 out there more likely as we're a drier day. We've got lots of sunshine for you. For Saturday afternoon, more scattered showers and storms building back, so this is another impact day for us. So that's what we have coming up in the mountains tomorrow morning. You're at 68 degrees. We warm up to 84, and it's a comfortable day in the mountains compared to the 90s that we're expecting in the Trident and Foothills. So winds out of the west northwest at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Impacts mainly for the afternoon through early evening for any isolated severe storms. If we can get anything going, I know we need a little bit of drying out there in between that rain too. 70 degrees in the foothills with highs at 89. Isolated storms out there, winds out of the west northwest at 5 to 10 to near 90 and spots around the foothills. So watching for those temps and spotty storms for you tomorrow too in the Piedmont Triad. Severe thunderstorm risk also here as we look on the western edges of that risk area. It's really for Forsyth County as we go from Winston-Salem south into Lexington and then back west into the foothills and mountains. But even then, no guarantee that we're going to get good rain on the ground tomorrow. We had some nice heavy showers and thunderstorms as we've seen those roll out now moving to the south and east. A lot of folks in the Piedmont tribe missed that line of severe weather. Grateful for missing the severe. We've got 70s out there overnight and we see muggy conditions bring temperatures right back into the 90s by about middle of the day. That west northwesterly wind does heat us up and very efficiently and quickly as it comes in with a down sloping effect. And so we've got that trough that'll move through the day and bring in hopefully behind it an isolated shower or two, but non severe is what we're looking for. It could mean a few evening storms too. We'll be watching for any changes there. Check in with meteorologist Brian Slocum in the morning. He'll have more for you on that. You've got the heat 90s to 100 for feels like conditions as we go through the next several days and really no break from that. We have the humidity that remains temperatures running in the upper 80s to low 90s almost every day over the next seven days. Here's that water vapor loop. You can see we've got lots of that energy just diving south tonight. We had some dry conditions spilling through the Piedmont Triad in the last six hours. And as we take a look at the tropics, they've had some dry air concerns too. This is what's been keeping that tropical wave from developing. But once they make it, uh, the showers and thunderstorms makes it to the west a little bit farther as we go over areas of the U.S. Virgin Islands, we will see that system likely develop. And so into the weekend, it's more likely we'll get some things going. At least in the next seven days, there's a 60% chance that this could be a big deal for the southeast. So potential impacts not only for the Bahamas, but also from Miami up the coast all the way through the Carolinas. So we'll be watching for this carefully. Seven day forecast shows you the heat, the humidity. Uh, we do get a little bit of a break Sunday and Monday. We take you from 90 on Saturday to 88 degrees, but notice shower and storm chances really not out of the picture for most days. We do have an impact for Wednesday and Thursday, late day storm chances on Friday if we get those going and another impact day on Saturday for better rain chances and more widespread storms. All right, thank you.